And then God said, Who's a good boy? And it was him! What's up, sexy? I'm Lexi, and welcome back to MK. Today, we are here to make your day better by going through some r slash made me smile. So let's go look at some cute stuff, be proud of some amazing people, and marvel at just how wholesome some folks can be. Hi, I'm Huggy Bear. I make what I call dewdrop holders. I make them to put in your garden so the fairies have something to drink their morning dew from. That's kind of beautifully wholesome. I got up this morning to get ready for DC Pride. My grandma walked into my room, looked at my buy flag, and said, oh, Oh, this needs to be pressed out. Such a simple gesture, but it holds so much love and meaning for me. Oh my god. Well done, Grandma. Frederick Dennis Gibbs. 12 to 1919 to 1612 2012. You're late! Evelyn Esther Gibbs, 3 1 1929 to 2210 2015. I'm here now, dear. Uh... Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna abandon the not crying goal of, of this subreddit, and we're just gonna, just gonna read the rest of them, because Studio Voice Lexi is about to be gone. Here's a new challenge for all you bored teens. Take a photo of an area that needs some cleaning or maintenance. Then take a photo after you have done something about it and post it. Holy heck, they went hard. It looks completely different. Wow. This is my favorite picture on the internet. It's it's kind of my favorite picture too. Also, do they actually have that on their wall? Is it? Oh, wait, I think it's a decal. That's, that's still amazing. Hi, dad. I'm really excited to go camping and to see my picture. I love Love you a lot. I bet you want to get the Jeep muddy, don't you? I love camping with you. I also like exploring with you. I love you so much. And the cats. Ah, uh, my voice is gone for this. Oh god. <laughs> That's adorable. Special instructions. Send your cutest delivery boy. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Does Domino's have actual, like, delivery dogs? I would spend all my money on Domino just, just to get the dogs. Just to pet all the dogs. Yes! Daisies! Just flowers! Yes, good! I don't have to cry over this one. Excellent. We're just gonna stay here for a minute, okay? Just stay here and enjoy this. Okay, this is nice. Alright, next post. My cat is afraid of baths, so in order to get him into one, I have to fill it with rubber ducks. <gasps> oh my god, the mlem! <gasps> Oh god, this is too dang cute. <gasps> I just saw the one with his eyes closed. Oh my god! Oh, this made everything better. This made everything so much better. This fawn and bobcat were found in an office together, cuddling under a desk after a forest fire. Oh my god, I cannot. Oh, that is too cute! I'm sorry, okay. Um, <clears throat> Focus, focus. Oh, it's so fluffy! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, next up. I'm writing a condolence card. Gregory, five, asks what I'm doing. I'm writing a note to say how sorry I am that my friend's mom died, I say. He pauses for a very fraught moment and then asks, oh so tentatively, that's just to be kind, right? You're not the one who did it? <laughs> I was not seeing that. I did not see that coming. Stop feeling bad for outgrowing people who had the chance to grow with you. Yes, just yes. Four-year-old asked dad to grow sunflower taller than house. He did, and now it's the tallest sunflower in the UK. Freaking amazing job dad I like the little tiny kid in his pajamas just like yeah husband stayed home from work because our dog was coughing we took him to the vet and paid 85 dollars for him to tell us our dog was fake coughing your dog faked being sick to still <laughs> this is something my dog would do this is something freya would totally do she's too smart for her own good that's adorable though just just stay home just stay home every day just stay stay with your dog that's all you need all you need in life is dogs or cats or bunnies or anything fluffy. Can I talk to you about something? Always. Okay, thank you. About 1.5 months ago, I realized I've been repressing feeling about how much I'd prefer to be a girl. And I've been experimenting with female pronouns and a different name around the house and with a few friends, and I like it a lot more than before. I just wanted to tell you there's a chance you might have another granddaughter. <laughs> First of all, I can always use another granddaughter. Secondly, if this makes you feel better, feel whole, then I will happily walk this world with you hand in hand. So what would you like me to call you? Hannah, please. I love you, Grandma. Thank you. We love you too, Hannah. <sighs> 
See this? This is too freaking wholesome. I've been estranged from my family for about six years, and, and that was pretty much right after I came out as trans. And seeing families react positively to people coming out as trans gives me just a little bit of hope back into the world. Anyways, this is great. Congratulations, Hannah. I'm very happy for you. There was a seal at my dad's work today. I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my god. Oh my god, look how tiny that is. This looks like it's at an airport. Those are like the airport style seats. Oh my god, it's so fluffy. Police officer spends his lunch break sharing pizza with a homeless woman. Get this man a promotion. Yes. Get this man a promotion immediately. No mask on your face, you big disgrace. Spreading your germs all over the place. Singing, we won't, we won't serve you. After surviving a fire, he is now training to become a therapy dog for burn victims. <gasps> Oh, such a good boy. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I hope he's recovering okay. This is kind of hilarious, but also kind of disturbing. I approve. You know what? I'm not sobbing. I'll take it. My D&D character, something fin fine. She's an all baking, all embroidering, all worries, Midwestern turtle druid based on my mom. <gasps> Oh, that's adorable. That's really cute artwork, actually. I love it. There's a mattress store that gives you a mattress for your dog when you buy a normal one. <gasps> Where? Where do I go? Outstanding move. I am, I am fully ready to buy a new, I don't need a new bed, but I'm fully ready to buy a new bed so my dog can get a new bed too. My dog was terrified of the fireworks, so my cat went and cuddled up with him. I heard his crying. <gasps> Bad news, I accidentally washed a nice wool shirt that I really loved and it shrunk a lot. Good news, <gasps> puppy in a sweater. My sister's boyfriend is from Russia and he just graduated from college. So his parents are visiting from Moscow and they speak very little English. And I almost lost it today laughing because they absolutely loved my sister's wiener dog. Like they were entirely amused by this dog. And his dad was just sitting next to the wiener dog, admiring him and softly saying in his thickest Russian accent, little dog, small dog, little dog. That is actually really freaking cute. Holy crap, grandma got buff. Well done. Proves it is never too late. Juliana Massa. I went through four years of high school without having a bad hair day. <laughs> that is one way to get through it. A shelter dog named Ginny rescued hundreds of injured stray cats. Abused herself and later adopted, she searched alleys, abandoned buildings, and construction sites for cats in need. Once found, she would alert her owner, who would take them into care. She saved over 900 cats in her lifetime. Oh my god, the cat's so happy. This is really cute. Everything in this suburb is really cute or just makes you cry. This cop comes to the same neighborhood after every shift with snacks and soda and chills with the kids who live there for at least an hour. Sometimes he brings a football and plays a few games. In the summer, when it's hot, he brought slip and slides and water guns for the children. And in the winter, he brought coats and hoodies. Oh my God, that that's freaking taking care of your community. <laughs> the meme at the bottom. Well, I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan. Oh, the tiny little blip, the tiny little blip. I went to boop the snoot. My dad surprised my mom for their 30th anniversary and had a bench dedicated to her at the park where they always walk together. Celebrating 30 years of walking with my love and the joy of all of you walking with yours. Happy anniversary, Pam. Love, Jeff. Pam and Jeff, 1987 to 2017. <laughs> Young man helping an older man down an escalator. Good, somebody paid attention in Boy Scouts. True story, I was told by a priest that I didn't have a choice to be gay or straight. I was gay and I had a choice to be authentic about who I am or hide it. And that God was really proud of the choice I had made. That's literally how it should be for everyone because that's how God actually feels, I think. And this friends is the proper Christian response to coming out. I am so glad that you had this support. Me too, me too. This is an amazing freaking response, especially from a priest. I'm not crying again, 
You can't prove otherwise. Look how happy this gecko is with this little gecko toy. Look at the smile. Making food, bills, full-time job, family problems. My mom. How was your day, sweetie? Some moms really do wear a whole special set of armor. Or they are themselves just invincible. My mom pretending to like the macaroni art I showed her. Me pretending to like the Facebook meme she showed me. Full circle. Oh my god, it's cat of watermelon. It's a cat. Oh my god. These sustain me through made me smile. Giant pumpkin head? Giant pumpkin head. Giant plant pumpkin head. Yes. After 30 years, two brothers return to Chernobyl to find an old friend waiting for them. Oh my god, it's still there. Oh my god, that's amazing. This photo is too beautiful not to be seen by everyone. <gasps> Look at how happy he is! Look at the happy elephant, enjoy it. I know this is more blessed images than anything, but j just look at it and smile. We can't fly, but we have each other. Here, I made you this. Ha, I'm just lazy. I can totally fly- Walkin Birds Club. <gasps> Pigeon's like, nope, I'm part of this club now. I want to build other channels like Beast Gaming and Beast Reacts, so I can run my main channel at a loss and grow as big as possible, and then use my main channel's influence to one day open hundreds of homeless shelters, food banks, and give away all the money. That's my grand plan, and if you don't believe me, just watch. I promise I'm dying with zero dollars in my bank account, and I refuse to live a materialistic life. Mr. Beast, a better person than many of us. Beach litter, a free coffee if you collect a bucket of rubbish off the beach. Buckets available from the coffee shop. Every little bit helps. I would totally do this. I I grew up basically on the beach in Florida, and it made me so mad when people littered. Like, why? Just don't. This is beautiful. This is how you are a good fan. This is excellence. He looks so happy. Also, holy crap, that is an electric wheelchair. Y'all are freaking strong. Well done, and also be safe. Like, don't injure him or anybody else in the audience doing this. I love students. He sprung from the cabin window as he said this upon the ice raft which lay close to the vessel. He was soon borne away by the waves and lost in darkness and distance. As he drifted away, I could just make out his final words. It's okay if you call me Frankenstein instead of Frankenstein's monster. I really don't mind. The end. That, that was a fitting end to the episode. And that brings us to the end of r slash made me smile, which also always seems to make me cry. If you smiled, laughed, or gen generally aggressive just feelings everywhere during this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button to get more delicious Reddit readings. My name is the Lexi Kitty, but y'all can call me Lexi. Have an absolutely victorious day tomorrow. Stay safe, stay heartwarming, make more stuff, and I will see you guys in the next next